an actor's lot. Now, it has come to my attention that some people have made, taken seriously my reference to being thrown at the window of the university. Now, I can assure everybody that neither the director nor anybody else threw me or anybody else out the window, which greatly relieves me, if it doesn't you. It was like this. I arrived at the university to play a comedy character of a janitor, along with his missus, a lovely silver-haired blonde, which you'll meet later in the show. Now, I thought... They put me in a lovely grey dust coat or overalls, but no, they came out with bright orange overalls. Now, being a comedian and not wanting to miss a moment, and knowing these people had never seen me before, met me before or seen me before, I suggested the bright overalls, they, they found it easy to find me again when the director threw me out the window and he didn't like my performance. They all laughed very loudly, including the director was a bit disturbing. I'm oh, thinking this is not very nice. I hope I haven't given the director ideas. Well, <clears throat> now I've got them on the run. I put one of my other concerns to them. That was if we had to leave the building uh, in my outfit, Mr. Plod, the policeman, might think I'd escaped from somewhere. They also thought this was very funny too, which I thought was not very nice. Then we went to, <coughs> then we went in full rehearsal, and then we were supplied with a supper, which is much better than your own, don't you think? Well, <coughs> then it happened. That's right. That's right. The bloody fire line went off. Out we went on the Swanton Street. Me and my bright orange overalls. Not a good look around a fire scene. <coughs> but I was not the only one. There was one other, uh, poor chap. Poor fellow actor, he was in his pink and white uh, striped underwear. Uh, thank God he put on a t-shirt and taken off the horse's head. So there we were, in and out of that, and up and down this, and round and around, through the stairs and down again. So I was thinking to myself, I'm going to have to carry this knee under my arm at any time now. Then I saw it, the fire truck. Two furly fire blanks chaps. So I walked over and said, when you catch that damn person that's smoking in the toilet, I want a word with them. One of them turned. They weren't, they weren't smoking in the toilet, they were grilling. And it's so that restaurant over there. I said, that's terrible. What were they grilling in the toilet? I'm not eating there. <laughs> One of them was not getting it. No, no, in the kitchen. Anyway, well, the coast was clear now. So I was able to make a dignified return to my stomach only to find some munchkins that had already eaten it. So for any more, you'll have to see the quiz show on Monday night, 8.30, Channel 31. So I look forward to seeing you there.